beep beep stomach update. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. I got like two hours of sleep collectively last night. I feel genuinely awful. I have an emergency appointment on the phone coming up later today. Um, I feel awful. I feel exactly as I did when I came out of surgery earlier this year. That's, it's the exact same pain, the exact same sleep deprivation. So there's your surgery update. Let's play some Skyrim. And hope that that fixes things. <laughs> I'm taking some paracetamol as well, because I can have that with the medication that I'm on. <sighs> How are you? You alright? I hope so. So where are we going? Careful. Rifton's not the safest place for a nighttime stroll. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we sent Jezago home, didn't we? Let's take me on with this. Hey, come with us. To you, friend. I'm right behind you. Let's go. God, she's so cool. She is really cool. The shop's still open. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for Watch what you're doing! I didn't do anything, I walked. I walked past you. I'm really going to push for a gastrologist appointment so they can put a camera in me. Because Jesus Christ. I cannot wait two weeks for that doctor's appointment. I have a lot of respect for the restoration school. Skyrim could use more healers. Well, there's a cave over there we've discovered. Hold up. How was the re Was that a fish? <laughs> There's a cave over here. What is this? Is that the Serethi farm as well? Because we need to farm known roots. Why did we not discover this? Oh, this is the Twilight Subaru? Right. Oh no, this is the Standing Stone. I'm glad you're here. What's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. <laughs> We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Tell me about the Nightingales. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 oh, years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Septum. Were they part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What's the purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Who's Nocturnal? She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. I've never met a thief that worshipped anything. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arms. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. One second, I'll be back. <sighs> this way is just ahead. Please. Oh, did I lose my talking privileges? It's I'm so sorry. Please, keep following. I had to leave. Fine. Gala talks kind of like I do at the moment. In all the pain. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear you brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lads. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. I think we can trust Carlyle. 
Let's see what she's on about. It's just a... This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armor to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Mm hmm? Have you come in on ears? You appear hesitant to don your Nightingale armor. I have What's more, more dialogue. She's the mistress of night. Nocturnalism. She influences our luck. Sounds like a guilt, you guilt contract. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense. And sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. I have my skill, not powers or magic. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket? It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Sounds like she just likes us to suffer. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she accept payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk there. You sure? Am I to become a Nightingale? It's my hope that you will, yes. Hmm. Religion and thieves make all bedfellows. This isn't about religion or destiny. This is nothing more than a business transaction between yourself and Nocturnal. Consider this. An extremely risky job, but with a massive potential for profit, then you'll do fine. I don't want to, then. What happened to capturing Mercer alive? From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, but together, we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus' memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild, and it seems they've spoken. Hmm. Proceed down the hall to the gate when you're ready. Some ground, huh? We have everything, I swear. <laughs> To equip it. Hmm. Hmm. Does it actually want me to put it on? Yeah. How do I look? It does look really cool. <laughs> I think we should trust the last. Yes, I know. Shut up. Whoa. It's like a proper hideout. This is cute. Tada. Mm -hmm. The red kitchen reader. Your book, you can tell by the price. Killed my first creature in a cave just like this. I'll never forget it. Mm. Okay, lass, we've got these get ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer. We must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. There's always a catch, but at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? 
I wouldn't do this shit. Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? I'm not sure we understand the terms. By transacting the oath with Nocturnal, you're entering into a business deal. You'll be provided all of the power and knowledge befitting a Nightingale. You're free to use those powers as you see fit, to further your own goals, or the goals of the Thieves' Guild. In return? In return, you'll be required to defend the Twilight Sepulchre and everything within when the need arises. More importantly, upon your death, your spirit will be bound to the Twilight Sepulchre as one of its guardians. There's no going back. Once the oath has been struck, the terms are binding. Knowing this, are you ready to undergo the ceremony? Are you? It's interesting thinking about who gets the Dragonborn Shown. There's a whole video on it and theories and this and that. Yeah, why not? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. No. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out we'll there. We'll speak when the Earth is complete. Come on, Garen. Forgive me from the high energy. <laughs> Once she calls, I think I'm gonna try and sleep again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do love how serious the Thieves Guild quest load is. And Look Turtle is pretty cool. of Merc, an Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Do something to... We missed this. <laughs> my lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. How did she even disappoint her in the first place? Bye, Nocturnal. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Uh. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, potential becomes limitless. Sounds like no one should possess it. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. 
Mm -hmm. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. Keep your eyes open. I suggest you I listen like to him. Looks at this place. <laughs> listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one what last thing. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles, and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. No, it's not wrong. Look, everyone in the guild admires what you've done. Maybe they won't come out and simply tell you, but I promise you it's true. They all have been. <laughs> and now they know Mercer never genuinely cared about the guild. He lacked the loyalty you obviously possess. I can't think of anyone better. I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. I don't care. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's get to it. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthat. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. I guess we're not in girls now. Aye, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Do you think we stand a chance against Mercer? If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade and spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Mm hmm Until next we meet, Mark. You're staying in there. Oh. <laughs> hey. hmm? May I ever return? Never yes. Never now that you're in Nightingale, you may consider this your home. You'll find that this place offers many things that will help you in your endeavors, as well as a wealth of information for you to learn. You sure? Once the skeleton key has been restored to the Twilight Sepulchre, I'll make this place my home as well. Hmm. I don't feel stronger. With the skeleton key missing from the Twilight Sepulchre, I'm afraid Mercer's seen to it that none of us can benefit from Nocturnal's gifts. But she spoke to us. You merely transacted the oath, hmm. signed the unwritten contract with Nocturnal. In order for us to receive our abilities, our end of the bargain, I'm afraid the key must be returned. No Nocturnal's angry with us? If Nocturnal was truly displeased with me, with any of us, she wouldn't have answered my call. I have no doubt that we still hold her favor, and I believe it gives us enough of an edge to defeat Mercer Frey. Cool. No, who's Mercer Frey? What? What do you mean, who's Mercer Frey? Oh, I just... I've heard so much about the guy. You know, I just... So which armor was I wearing before? It wouldn't have been something like this, right? Superior, that's one. We should enchant new ones. These aren't very good enchantments. We did these like 30 levels ago. <laughs> okay.
It's Nightingale time. No shirt for him. Mm. I'm both pieces of shit. There is no way that bear saw us. <laughs> Do this job quickly and then we'll do everything done. Oh, I'm frozen. Interesting, I haven't seen the webcam freeze in a while. Uh, one second, let me just fix that. Hmm. I have no idea what happened. I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I have the key. I have the key? What? Ta-da! Oh, okay. I don't know how we have the key. That's kind of cool. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, while we're here, let's go see our daughter. Both of them. One of them? Two of them? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bad father. I forget how many we have. I think it's Sophia and... Another one. I I don't remember. We've had this dress in our room until we for ages. We're supposed to give one of them now. I don't know. You could give things, to them. they can adopt pets. What? That's so cool. Names nailed. Right. Rolf says I shouldn't go to the Grey Quarter anymore. He said it's not safe there. I've got something for you. Wow, really? It is a yellow dress. Thanks. It's okay. You're home. Did you get me a present? Yeah. What would you like? Yes, I did. What is it? What? People say Skyrim is one of the most dangerous places in the country. Sweet troll. It's magnificent. Here you go. It's okay. Bye. My father says we need to just get on with our lives. Is that easy? It is. It's not. <laughs> no selling to you. Everyone says of course investment. You want to in my business. I'm the finest blacksmith in all Skyrim. Not true. If you have spare weapons and armor to sell, bring them here. The There's a lot of things to sell. Oh my god. Ooh. Hee hee. We have so many of these. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's some weight lifted. Go. Whether it's armor you Working need or in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. <laughs> I get to see Ulfric up close. Hey, 
Watch it. No. I cannot wait until I actually feel good again. I know every episode lately we've been talking about the surgery Have stuff and the those things small and evil like something out of a nightmare. They come the stillborn cave to the north. I know it. I mean we've been there already. There it is. Like I know we keep talking about the the surgery and the illness. But it's it's been constant. So it's really difficult for me to play these games and not make the commentary about it. So I hope it's not been too obnoxious. Remember, this has been recorded in November, whereas the video is coming out in June. So maybe things got better. I really hope things got better. I'm holding out for it. People say Skyrim is one of the most dangerous places in Cumbria. I think they're wrong. It's magnificent, and I'm... Proud. I don't think they're wrong. Skyrim is a very dangerous place. Then again, pretty sure they all know. Oh. Another will be behind us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got any potions or anything? I think we woke him up. Was me all shot or something? Why am I not running? I didn't even hold the button down. Ah, frost. Bandit chef. Whoa, that was cool. Thanks, buddy. Good boy. No, 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 no. You can wait by the fire, yeah? You keep warm. Gonna pretend I didn't see whatever you just did. <laughs> well, where are you, bitch? I'm trying to get to sleep last night, I put on that, you know those Skyrim uh, ambient videos, where it's like one hour of nighttime music. Um, oh, if you can't follow me here, I'm gonna send her back to Riften. Huh? Go back to, I go back home. Fight. Such a shame. I thought we were getting along so well. We are. I'll head back to Riften, if you should have second thoughts. We'll hang out again, I promise. I don't remember what I was saying now. Damn it. I'm going to cry. We did come here a while ago, didn't we? so creepy. 
just walking into this place and seeing a bunch of dead bodies. It's just, oof. There's a lot of them. Were these the ones I killed? No. We need to go back to Orleo as well, I just remembered. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Thought it was Daedra Garo. I don't remember what Arneo needs from us next. So I don't know if I should be collecting anything. But if I remember this episode, I'll go talk to him. I don't know if I'll have left, I don't know. How much time we'll have? I asked my friend at like 4 in the morning this morning and I just messaged him asking if I could come around and play VR Skyrim sometime this week. So that'd be really fun to do. I played it around his before and uh, it was really cool that I couldn't stay there for too long just because I'm motion sick. Because I haven't done VR very often. I've done Phasmophobia in VR, which was super fun, but really scary. Um, and Skyrim. I also did Skyrim on his Nintendo Switch a while ago, and it was really fun to swing in the Joy-Cons around as the swords. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should buy something like that. VR or... Um. A Switch. I have a PS4 that I bought for Borderlands 3 because it was an Epic exclusive. Uh, and I played that for six months on PS4 and then I haven't used it for like three years. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to my brother. He wants to pay me for it, but I mean, it's fine. I don't care. I could use the money since I'm still not working and I can't work because of this medical stuff. But. I didn't pay much for it, it was like 220, it was a second hand one. So, it's just been sitting here, just wasting away, it's probably filled with dust and shit, so I'm not gonna try and sell it to him, he's my fucking brother. If he wants that he can take it. Mercer's been here. I hope we aren't too late. How can you tell? Mercer had the eggiest farts in the guild. He left one right here for us. Those bandits back there. Brynjolf and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. I'm ready, Aniska. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. <laughs> Who farted? <laughs> Own up, which one of you did that? I just as soon die before I'd let Mercer get those gems. Do you think Mercer knows we're here? The last seems to think old Mercer is pulling a fast one on us, leading us here and letting the Dwarven constructs wear us down. I've learned to trust her lead at this point. 
After all, we Nightingales need to stick together, eh? What are the only to the former? A few years before Mercer murdered Gallus, the guild took in a thief who specialized in dwarven antiquities. The thief had broken into a nobleman's home somewhere in Windhelm and made off with a small figurine of a snow elf with crystalline eyes. Snow elf? Aye. That's what the Falmer were known as long ago, before they became the blind monstrosities they are today. When Gallus took one look at the statue, he knew it was something special. He took it right up to Enther at the College of Winterhold. Didn't take long for Enther to find a book in the college's library that told of Urkenthat and a great statue with gemmed eyes within. So the eyes of the found were gems? Not just ordinary gems. They are said to be flawlessly cut and as big as a man's head. Can you imagine how much they're worth? They're not worth much. They're like 2.5 grand, infiltrating aren't they? Urkenthat. But the dwarves had protected the place far too well. There were just too many obstacles blocking the way. The plans were shelved, and the rest is history. Until next we meet this life. Place. It's like a maze. <laughs> How did the dwarves find their way around? <laughs> Do you think Mercer knows we're here? Mercer's been careful so far. I don't think he'd just leave those plans behind unless he had his reasons. For someone in possession of the skeleton key, stealing the eyes of the farmer would be child's play. No. He means to ambush us down here. I'm almost certain of it. Both of you were here for a moment. Will do. Don't stray too far away or else we'll come after you. <laughs> I can tell him to wait. I can't wait to get my hands on that bastard's neck. Come with me. Lead on. We're ready. Right. Oops. Wait a moment. What's that? Hmm? It's Mercer. Look, down there. I'm on it, lass. Where? Damn it. There's no way through. Well, I didn't see him. Mercer! Aye, lass, and we'll be ready for him. Let's keep moving. Oh my god, the plot and thickens. This will be Mercer's final Oh my time. god, she's five for. nights at Freddy's. Oh my god. <laughs> I do kind of want to buy that shitty security breach game. Just to walk around and shit and look at everything. It's such a detailed walk, but just the enemies are so shit. It just it seems very cumbersome to play. Like alien isolation, but without the charm. Can't say that I have. I've been on hundreds of these. God, is that all you guys ever think about? Just money? We're in the thieves guild. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> change the radio already. Come on, you guys are so annoying. First try. <laughs> I would have had a better attempt at not moving it than moving it. Get down from there. Oh. oh, fuck you. Oh, oh. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm dying. Sorry. It's <laughs> a really fun. The trumpet has got to be like the most fun instrument to imitate. Your mom's a man. Your mom's a man. I was. Trying to sleep last night, and I devised a really good orchestral score in my head, and I don't remember how it went, and it upset me so much because I would have been hammering that out today. It was really cool. It was like a sweet. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? 
I do just want to make a really long ambient, like 40 minute piece. Scary fellatio. Lay on the table. Do it. Mercer. I think there's one. Get up. I thought I was looking for a, a stupid. The mirror is a front. I thought there was like a, an arrow here or something. An arrow? What am I trying to say? Lover. Is there not? Ah! <laughs> Is it the one over there? God damn it, stop. Nobody cares. <coughs> Guys, watch out. <laughs> so, is there another level that I need to activate? No, it just doesn't let me click that one anymore. Uh, how do we get up here? Why are you up there? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. How is he doing that? Because I'm awesome. <laughs> we don't worry about me. Don't don't ask questions. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Oh, it was up here. I'm silly. Wait, were the other ones stopped? What? Is it timed? Any help, guys? Be really appreciated. Oh, it's down. Huh. I hope we can get to him in time. This place is full of the time. Like, move. <laughs> it's a good line. There's nothing up here. Stupid. Me? 
Swing from the other angle, you idiot. Oh. Why would he get- what? I don't like how this game handles that. Like, I'm trying to swing the other way that doesn't hit the shield. I didn't have enough time to get out to heal. I'm always, like, a tiny bit too early. Rip a year off. Hum. In case I don't feel my phone vibrate on my desk, I've put it <laughs> in a great place. What do you want? Go away. Get down from there. Just the right way to go. Oh. Oh. We're gonna trigger him anyway. It's nine gulls. I have to stop looking at all these pointless dead bodies. Mercer, he stole these. Oh. Wow, he took everything. <laughs> Detect life. Holy shit. We still need a spell for form of it. Look at that monstrosity. It's a dwarven centurion. Very tough and very Mm. We can take the beast on or sneak around. It's your call, Mother. Right behind you. I don't even see if it's there, honestly. Uh, that's fine. They're pretty easy to kill. Except when they move out of the wire. Oh, they're on our side. That was a strangely delivered voice, man. Damn Jesus, okay, fuck me. Where are you guys? Let me get one of you out of the picture, come on. These guys suck. This is so difficult. They're waking up beyond me. Probably quick. My little stamina though. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, what? I. Where is Brynjolf? Would you fucking move, cunt? Oi. I wouldn't get any more horrors back, are you serious? Clearly not thirsty enough, mate, because you're not doing any fucking work. Bring off, where are you going? That was... So fucking crazy. That was mental. The Fowler do not fuck around.
just as I was getting warmed up. Bring off, you did literally nothing. You actually did nothing. Shut the fuck up. I really dislike Brynjolf, just overall, as a character. Like, I know a lot of people really, really like him, like, well, the first time he called me last, I was smitten. But like, shut the fuck up. He's bloody annoying. He's useless. He's absolutely useless. Nordic Barnacle. <laughs> just try some stealth, I suppose. May as well. Why would you move that fast out of nowhere? What? These guys are so tanky. Oh, come on, he stopped moving. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. I didn't know that my health was draining that fast. Wait, we completed a mission? This is so unfair, bro. How far back am I? To my quick save, thank god. What mission did I complete? What? Is it gonna, did it say, like, failed, you died or something? Farmer actually suck. Come on. Just subsidize the damage. Jesus. I'm picking up all these poisons, I should probably use them. It's just impossible to find anything. Thick What was that? Why am I not doing here? Come on. Fuck's sake. Cum coward. Your mom is a cum coward. Anyone who spits is a cum coward. That's amazing. How did these guys die? What? I don't even get to loot the place. I just want to get to Mercer because he's fucking annoying. This is where we saw Mercer. We must be getting close. Is it? Wow. Slave pens? Oh my god. <laughs> Beat room. Come from? There's a century, there's a, a little thing here too, little ball man. What are they called? Metal ball man? Soul trap former. Do they have souls still? Even a farmer don't deserve the pain he's in. Must have inflicted. The dwarves were a cruel race. The dwarves were fucked, bro. The dwarves were like just didn't care, which is really cool, but kill hell, you know, it's like oof. 
Nobody thought they were able to send them in the eyes of the slime arms. The dwarves thought they took them from the full mob, but they themselves were fools. A statue built in secret with the slaves, the eyes burn into you, and I see them even now. So Rafa escaped through the collapsing tunnel, but I'll never escape with what, what we've seen. Many will never believe him, and he'll be driven mad with another two and never see them again. But I may yet see them again before I die. Maybe. You can have that back. I don't want it. There you go. Spastic saver. <laughs> You could bring your you could you could do anything and it'll be useful. Taser arrow. Looping arrow sound. <laughs> it's so hard to see him. Comfort. The thing that upsets me the most about this game is that I'm playing on like Adept or something, and some bandits can go down, I, I mentioned this before, some bandits go down within like two hits, and then like, it takes like eight hits to kill one of these fucking armor on the same difficulty. I wish it was more uniform. The nurse can see you! Don't hit me. No, that's what I thought. Get the fuck out of here. Give me a rear. Ear, not rear. Go. Give me your rear. Would you consider having sex with a farmer? D oh! Daedric Battleaxe. Yes. Yes, I, I think I will. Holy shit. That's super cool. Right. There are so many. Can we just go? I have to. <laughs> I'll have to keep Mercer's demise in the next episode. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At least I have two different names now. This could be the Becoming a Nightingale episode. Uh, hopefully nothing follows me in. We'll have to see this next time. Oh my god, the music. 
Okay. See you later.